Now before I start this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Android Critics, and also be sure to hit that bell for post notifications. Hey guys, what's up? It's Android Critics from AndroidCritics.com, and in this video I'm going to be showing you an app that goes by the name of Game Guardian. Now, Game Guardian is the most powerful hacking app that allows you to hack any Android game and a lot of other great stuff. Now, in order to use Game Guardian, you're going to have to be rooted. Uh, so, if you aren't already rooted, all you have to do is simply Google how to root your Android device, and then you'll be able to root your Android. Now, before you go ahead and start this video, be sure to sign up for Android Critics newsletter down in the description down below. And once you sign up from Android Critics Newsletter, you'll be able to get latest and greatest Android news, tips and tricks, and a whole lot more. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. So the first thing that you're going to do is go into Settings. Now once you go into Settings, what you're going to do is scroll all the way down until you see Security. Uh, so what you're going to do is simply tap on Security, and then once you tap on Security, you're going to go to where it says Unknown Sources right there, and then what you're going to do is simply tap on Unknown Sources, and then you're going to go ahead and hit OK, and then you're going to make sure that Unknown Sources is checked. And now once you've done that, what you're going to do is go back to your home screen. And once you go back to your home screen, what you're going to do is click on the very first link down in the description down below. And once you click on that link, it'll take you to androcritics.com and it'll be a full range tutorial. And towards the end of the post, you see that there'll be a download link for the Game Guardian app. So once you tap on that download link, it'll take you to this page. So here you'll see it'll say Game Guardian right here. I'll tell you some more information about the Game Guardian app, along with some screenshots and much more. And then what you're going to do is scroll all the way down until you see where it says uh, Download File right here. So what you're going to do is simply tap on Download This File. And then we'll say Starting Download. And now if we take a look at the progress of the download, you're going to see that the download is now complete. So what we can do is just simply tap on it. And then what we can do is go ahead and install Game Guardian on our Android device and it shouldn't take too long, and now the app is installed, so all we can do is now go into it, and now what we're going to do is just simply press Grant, and now it will continue the install, and you're going to press Grant again, and now once you're successfully in the Game Guardian app, all you're going to do is simply press on Start, and now what you're going to do is simply go back to your home screen. And now you're going to see that that Game Guardian icon will be right in the top left. Uh, so all you can do is just simply uh, put it anywhere on your device. You can put it in the bottom right, the bottom left, top uh, right, or top left. You can basically put it wherever you want it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just put it in the bottom right. So now what we're going to do is go into the game that I want to hack. Uh, so that game is called Subway Surfers. And this is what it looks like once I go into Subway Surfers. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to do is simply tap on that Game Guardian icon right here. And then once you tap on it, what you're going to do is choose the game you want to hack. Uh, so I'm going to hack Subway Surfers, so I'll simply tap on it. And now what I'm going to do is simply X out of it. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to hack the high score in the Subway Surfers game. So what I'm going to do is simply tap to play. And now what I'm going to do is just simply uh, start playing just like normal and collect all the coins and everything like that. Uh, so it's pretty simple. And now what I'm going to do is just focus on the meters at the top right. As you can see now I'm at 150 meters and now 170. Uh, you basically get the point. So what I'm going to do is simply pause this. And once I pause this, we're just going to be focusing on the meters in the top right of how far uh, I'm going in the Subway Surfers game. So I could just simply hit resume and now I can see I'm at 243. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is just simply pause the game again. And once I pause the game, what I'm going to do is simply tap on the Game Guardian icon. And then once I tap on the Game Guardian icon, icon. I'm going to simply tap on the far right, uh, so right here, and then I'm just going to enter in the value. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just go back into the game and remember how far I am in the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back, and now I'm just simply going to press resume. So I am at 300, I just looked. Uh, so what I can do is just go back into the Game Guardian icon right here, and then go ahead and hit search, and then I'm just going to search for the value as 3, Hundred, uh, so you have it right there. And then for the type with all the question marks, what you're going to do is simply tap on all the question marks right here. And then you're going to go ahead and choose where it says D word. Uh, so you'll simply tap on that. And then what you're going to do is simply enter new search. And then I'll start searching. And then I'll say that uh, 309 was found. Uh, so what you're going to do is simply uh, resume. And then we're just going to go a little further in Subway Surfers. Uh, so just keep going. And then we'll wait till we get to a certain point. 
So now what I'm going to do is simply pause it soon. So I'm just going to remember where I was. So I could just simply resume and then pause it again. So I was at 522. Uh, so I could just simply go back into Game Guardian. I'm going to hit the search one more time and search for 522. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit new search. And then it will start searching. And now it will say uh, found. So I can go back to the Game Guardian. And now if I press cancel, you're going to see that I have all these different values right here. So I have more than five values. So what you're looking for when you hack an app in Game Guardian is under five values. Uh, so you're just going to make sure that you have under five values so you can see that we have more than five values. Uh, so what we're going to do is just simply keep playing until we get to a point where we have less than five values. Uh, so let's say, for example, three. Uh, so now what we can do is just simply keep playing the Subway Surfers game. So now I did pause the game, and now I can see I'm at 674. So now what I can do is just simply tap on the Game Guardian icon, and now what I can do is just simply hit backspace, and then search for 674, and then what I can do is just go ahead and hit refine, and then you're going to see it'll load up with two values. So now two values is under five values, which is perfect for Game Guardian. So now what I can do is just simply tap on the second icon right there, uh, so the one with the pen, and I can just simply edit it. So you can just simply tap on it. So now what we can do is go ahead and edit our high score and put any number. Uh, so let's say, for example, we put 1, 2, 2, uh, 2, 2. Uh, so that's our new high score. It's just that simple. We don't have to do anything more than that. We don't have to check any of these boxes or uh, change anything like that. Now all we can do is just go ahead and hit yes. And now that is our new high score. Uh, so 122,222 is our new high score. Uh, so now what we can do is just simply X out of Game Guardian. And now once we X out of Game Guardian, we can go ahead and hit resume. And now uh, you're going to see that will be our new high score. So it's just that simple. And now if you take a look at the top right, our new high score is there. We're going to be having a bunch of achievements now. As uh, so you can see, they have a lot of achievements. But you can see our new high score is 122,350. So you have it right there. Uh, so you could easily tap to continue. You can just see all those achievements coming in. It's awesome to see that this hack actually did work. Uh, so once again, you can see our new high score is right there. And it is 122,500. Uh, so you could just simply tap to continue and now once we tap to continue you can see our high score is going all the way up uh, and you can see that you can now have a bunch more coins so you see that you have 1325 coins and we also do have four times that we can restart the game and continue with our high score that we had previously before we hit one of the moving carts uh, so you can see that this subway surfers hack did work with game guardian now the next game that we're going to go ahead and hack in this video is the Jetpack Joyride game. Uh, so we can just go into it. And once you go into it, what we're going to do is simply tap on the Game Guardian icon right here. And then once you tap on it, you're going to see it's going to say Subway Surfers. And it's going to have all those old values that we already have. So what we're going to do is just simply tap on the Subway Surfers icon. And then what we're going to do is choose Jetpack Joyride from the list of all the apps and games that we have installed on our Android device. So now uh, it will adjust to Jetpack Joyride and now what we can do is just simply X out of everything and now we can touch anywhere to start playing Jetpack Joyride. Uh, so that's what we can do. So now I can just simply start playing Jetpack Joyride and I'm going to go as far as possible and in this hack I'm going to show you how to hack the tokens and get a bunch of tokens with Jetpack Joyride. So now you can see that we uh, did finish in the game. So now what we can do is go in into the token part. And now what we can do is just simply go into Game Guardian. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and hit search. And then what we're going to do is enter in our one uh, token that we have. And we're just going to make sure that the D word is also selected under type. So what we can do is just do a new search. And now what we're going to see is uh, we can watch a video. So now what we're going to do is simply watch a video. And now we're going to get more tokens by watching this video. So now what we can do is go back into the Game Guardian and our value is now 4. So what we can do is just simply type in 4. And now we can just simply hit refine. And now what we can do is just simply pull the lever. And now we're at 3. So now what we can do is just go back to Game Guardian. And once you go ahead and hit 4, you can see that there's so many values right here, and that's more than 5 values. Uh, so now what we're going to do is go back and spin until we have uh, less than 5 values here.
So now what we can do is go back into Game Guardian, and now we can enter in a new value. Uh, so what we can do is just go ahead and hit 3, and then hit Refine. And now you can see that there's only four values uh, for three, so that's less than five. So now what we can do is hack Jetpack Joyride. So now all we have to do is tap on the pen icon right here. And now all we can do is enter in 999, and then we can hit yes. And now you can see that we can go back and hit X. And now if we pull the lever, you're gonna see that we're now at two, and now we're at 998 right there. Uh, so you can see that we do have unlimited uh, tokens now and at 997. Uh, so you can see that it's now working. And that Game Guardian did hack the Jetpack Joyride game. Uh, so it's just that simple. And it's relatively easy to hack. And now you can see that we hacked the tokens. And we can put in whatever value we want for the tokens. Uh, so it's just that simple. So that is the Jetpack Joyride game. Now the last game in this video that I'm going to hack with Game Guardian is the Sonic Dash game. So what we can do is just simply go into Sonic Dash and immediately once we go into Sonic Dash all we have to do is simply tap on the Game Guardian icon. Now we can just simply tap in the top left on the old app that we were just in and now we can go ahead and choose Sonic Dash and now it will adjust to Sonic Dash. And now what we can do is go ahead and play the Sonic Dash game. Now the hack that I'm going to be showing you is the speed hack and it works very well. So what we can do is just go ahead and press play and now you just get acquainted with the Sonic Dash game. I can start it and start playing it a little bit. I can collect some of the rings right here and now you can just simply tap on Game Guardian and once you tap on Game Guardian, we're going to tap on the option right here. Uh, so let's just simply tap on it and now what we're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and now you're going to see that it says Speed Hack right here. So what we're going to do is simply tap on Speed Hack and now if we take a look, we can go slower or go faster so we can just easily speed up the game or slow down the game uh, so that we collect all the coins and it's a really awesome feature and there's a lot of great features in Game Guardian. So what we can do is just simply press resume and now what I can do is just simply slow down the game as you can see that the game is going by so slow it's almost as if it is lagging but now I can speed up the game as you can see how slow it's going so 0.02 seconds and now I can just speed it up and now this is about normal speed, but it is a little bit slower. As you can see, I can speed it up even more. And now we're going back to the normal speed. And now I can just slow it down. So I can collect all the coins. I can uh, easily jump. I could go to the side. You can see it's lagging, uh, but it's really awesome in that way. But I, it is working most importantly. I can speed it back up to normal. Uh, so it's uh, pretty normal. It is a little bit slower now, but we can collect all the coins that we need and we can go left and right and use all the on-screen options uh, and it's just that simple. Uh, it's very easy to navigate most importantly as well. Uh, so that's what we can do and I can go to the left and then go to the right and I can jump over this obstacle and turn into a ball. Uh, so that's the Sonic Dash game. Now I can just speed it up all the way to the fastest point and now all we can do is just slow it down at this point. So now you can see that this animation is really slow. Uh, so now we can just focus on our high score, focus on how many rings we've collected, and now we can speed it up a little bit if we want. And now what we can do is just slow it down once we reach the land. And now I can see it slowed down, so we're in slow motion. And uh, now that's a really awesome feature. I really do like this speed hack, and that's how we can use it. Now we can also use it in a game like Temple Run. That's when it will come in handy. And it works on almost every game you can hack with Game Guardian as well, Subway Surfers, uh, and also Jetpack Joyride. It's just really awesome and a really nice feature in that way. So that is what we can do with the Sonic Dash game. So this is the highest speed it can go, and that's at 4, and now I can see that we're finished with the game. So if we want to turn off the speed hack feature, all we have to do is simply go back into the Game Guardian uh, app, and then scroll all the way down and choose speed hack, and then it'll go back to normal, and that's all you have to do. So thank you for watching this video on the Game Guardian app. Please be sure to subscribe if you like this video, please smash the like button down below so know you watch. Also be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. Be sure to check out AndrewCritics.com for latest Android news and more. Like my Facebook fan page at Facebook.com slash AndrewCritics. And also be sure to sign off my AndrewCritics newsletter down in the description down below. And once you sign off my AndrewCritics newsletter, you'll be able to get latest and greatest Android news, tips and tricks, and a whole lot more. And follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash AndrewCritics. And thanks for watching.